five reasons we cannot have Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister of Great Britain. We are not ready for Rishi. Number one, we have the highest inflation in 40 years, the highest taxation in 70 years and the biggest drop in living standards since 1956. And how is it possible that Rishi stands on a platform and says he's going to fix this when he was the one that implemented it. He was the one that helped lock down a nation, gave out millions and billions in furlough and contracts to his mates and excluded millions of ordinary Brits from receiving anything whatsoever. He's not the guy who's going to fix this. Number two, he is nipple height. And you'll know that's a height I don't agree with particularly in men. In actual fact, he's about five foot six. And that means that his team are meticulous in making sure he's photographed upward so that he looks like a skyscraper. And they never allow him to be photographed with anyone else, if you notice, in order that you don't notice he's actually a very short man. And as we know, short men have issues. His wife, she and he are worth around $850 million, there or thereabouts, which is fine. It's lovely that they're super wealthy and super rich. But why would you be a tax avoider when you have this much cash to throw about? And why would you avoid tax when your husband has known he was going to make this play to be prime minister of this country all along? Only greed can help explain that. Comi California, Rishi owns a green card. He willingly spends time in California. No conservative willingly spends time in California. We know the sorts of people who like to live in California, like trailer trash Meghan Markle. There is no way that Rishi is the man he says he is if he has a property, a green card, and likes to spend time with the other communists who live there. And finally, I just think he's a bit of a knob. Sometimes you just got to rely on your sixth sense. And from what I've seen, from what I've heard, the way he talks, his ears, his shortness, I just know he's a bit of a knob.